need a steering wheel. Prelude is now in a position where I can, well, I feel comfortable working on it. I wanted to bring it out of the dirt and onto the, the cement pad, more or less here, just to make putting it on jack stands and working on it a bit easier. Won't be dropping bolts into a bunch of mud, but rather just on the concrete. Next up here, I need to get the whole thing jacked up. My plan is to put the front on jack stands, take those front wheels and put them underneath the rear wheels. Uh, these are just some really kind of bunk spares that I got from my buddy. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pop those underneath those to try and give me enough lift there. If I have to do more, I have some cement blocks I can use to raise the back up a bit. So that's the plan. front of the prelude up on jack stands it was time to tackle the rear my plan here was to use the middle jacking point in the rear of the bumper it was going to hopefully get me both sides up at once so that way i could put the tires underneath but unfortunately where i placed the prelude it was just on the edge of the gravel and the cement so the jack was having a hard time rolling up onto the cement as i was trying to jack it up I finally just called it quits and decided I was gonna jack each side up independently from the rear jacking points on these side rockers and that I was just gonna slip the wheel in like that. First, I need to drain the coolant out of this thing. I've got a little bucket catch can here with a little bit of cat litter. Um, come to find out is the easiest way that I've found to dispose of coolant is to put cat litter, fill this thing up, and then I'll probably add more cat litter, and then you leave it outside in the sun to basically just evaporate. Underneath the middle of the car, kind of in the center of the bumper, you'll find this little twist cap here. That's where I'm gonna be draining my coolant from. I need to release the top cap so the air can circulate, but this guy here will be the main drain. It's apparent during the whole incident, I definitely didn't run out of uh, coolant. So I guess that's good. The coolant system is holding everything. I think the next thing I'm gonna do is probably start with the driver's side, but I will need to start popping off the uh, axles and get these hubs released. Now I'm working to take off this lower ball joint. I pulled out the cotter pin and now I'm taking off the 17 mil castle nut.
For that lower ball joint, I definitely recommend grabbing one of these guys. It's super helpful, it's just a press that as you screw it in, it separates the ball joint and uh, makes it so the hub can pop loose. So I did that and now I'm gonna try and remove the driver's side axle. All right, so there's the half shaft and the driver's side axle released, but I think I'm gonna have to undo this fork here to drop this lower control arm down so that I can get the axle out because I don't think it's going to fit in between the, uh, the fork itself. Okay, half shaft and driver's side axle are out. I'm pretty happy with the progress today. I know it didn't maybe look like a lot on camera, but I spent probably a good four hours on this project. Uh, getting it actually up on jack stands was about half that time spent, and then uh, the rest of it was just getting through the checklist of draining the coolant, getting the half shaft out and the axle. So tomorrow I'm going to be starting on the passenger side, getting that axle removed and that whole hub assembly taken off. And then, um, yeah, and then we're onto the actual transmission and pulling some stuff right off of it and getting it ready to come out of the prelude. So today was eye opening. I'm really hoping that the uh, issue on this was the rear main seal. It looks like we kept all our coolant. Um, when I go to drain the transmission, we'll see if the tranny kept its fluid, but I know for a fact we're running low on oil. So hopefully it's just that rear main seal and all this effort of going through to take off the transmission will be worth it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps the YouTube algorithm find other people who would also enjoy this type of content and comment down below what you guys thought of today's video. I will see you in the next one. Keep elevating. Adios.